the tutorial on how to print uh, a big image but let's say you don't have a large format printer you only have a, you know a printer which can print eight and a half by eleven a letter size paper so uh, it's really uh, easy to do using the, uh, the intersect uh, command here now as you can see let's go to inches here Okay, my page size is eight and a half by eleven, which I mean it's this one eight and a half by eleven. Now, if I click on the image here, because I'm what I'm do I'm going to do I'm just going say I want to print this big poster, but I only have eight and a half by eleven uh, printer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tile this one, okay, and then print it separately in eight and a half by eleven paper. So the first thing you have to do is you click on the the image okay say I want it to be seven 27 inches by 27 inches which is a square so what I'm going to use here is my intersect tool but before that I have to make this one into a power clip so I'm just going to remove snap to objects there okay so I'm going to create a box okay but the box should be smaller than the image so we're going to power clip that so you click on the image not the box the image and then go to effects power clip place inside the container and then the arrow shows up and just click on the the object that you made which is the square yeah i've got a square now now here i would decide like how big would but would my printout be in 8 by 11 so i would say three squares here right and then probably uh uh, I would say three squares on top two, so horizontal. So first, first I want you to go to view and click on snap to object. So it would snap to the edge of the uh, the box that we created, and you go to your uh, here. Okay, where is it? Okay, we're going to the. Uh, no, I'm just gonna look for it. Okay, so here. If you click on the polygon tool and the option for grids or graph paper tool, okay, uh, it's D in your keyboard. So you click on that one, and here it says here four columns and then three rows. I want to do I want to make it three columns and three rows. So what it does, if I click and drag, it will give me, you know, like nine squares because I set it into three columns and uh, three squares. So since it snaps to the object, so it snaps on that mode, and then click, and I go to that node there. Okay. Okay. So now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to select all. Okay. And then you go to your intersect. Okay. So those are the welding tools here. Okay. You click on intersect. There you go. And then move the squares out. You can delete this too if you want to. Because this one is intersected now. Okay. So I'll just move that over here. That's the original image and this is the intersected one. So you can go to arrange and then ungroup all. Okay. So right now we have separate objects now. Okay, just undo that. If before before anything else you select all and go to your outline tool and click on X for no outline perfect so I'll delete this original picture now now I have nine separate squares which what I can do is that okay with my eight and a half by eleven printer what I can do I can uh, you know here these are pages so I click if I click on this arrow here for pages it will create there page two three four five six seven eight nine okay so I go to my first page okay so what I'm gonna do so say this is my first page okay I'm in page nine right now okay this is the so I can drag this and put it inside Okay. But the problem is there, it doesn't fit. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this and make it smaller. A little bit smaller. There, I think that will fit now. So page 9. Okay, I can start here. Okay, it's still bigger, so I'll make it smaller just a tiny bit. Okay, now you click on the first image. Okay, I'm in page 9 right now because you're 9 squares, right? And type in P to center it into page. Okay, so that's 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 it. And then we go to 8, click on the second one, and then type P. So it goes center of the page. And then I'll go to page 7, it shows up here. Click P, type in P, and then go to 6, P. seven okay I'm in page five okay then I go to uh, this one P page four and then three P that's page three and then page two P okay and then page one the last one would be this one I type in P to center it to the page okay so here so now if that's my 8 and up by 11 I go to page 2 that's the print out of the page and then once it's printed you can cut it out okay and stick them all together so that's it that's how you make a big poster with an 8 and a half by 11 printer